Guys, I know before I said nothing much was like happening. And like, it's true though, nothing much was happening. But you, you guys wouldn't believe it, the craziest thing happened inside the car. So like, I got back from my piano lesson, right? And so, basically I got back and my mom was swatting at something in the car and I was like, oh, it's just like a random small little bug, like whatever. So like, nah, you know what I'm saying? And so, I, um, okay, hold up. You guys can't see this part of the journey. Okay, basically, so I was like, okay, it's just a small little bug, whatever. And so later on, while I'm like just sitting there peacefully in the car, right, like I feel something like, you know, like it feels like something's like on my, tickling my feet, like not tickling it, but like something's on my feet. And I was like, oh, it's probably just like the little air vents, like, you know, like there's how there's like little air vents and they're kind of like, they just kind of like tickle your feet, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know if you know what I'm saying, but. <sighs> and then I look down and there's like a bee, a bee on my foot, just crawling on my foot, guys. Can you believe that? Oh my God, there was like a bee crawling on my foot. No joke. Okay, so of course, me being me, and like, I like scream my heart out, obviously. <sighs> okay, sorry. I like screamed my heart out, because I was like so freaked out, like there's a bee on my foot, it's gonna like sting me. And so I know like, whenever there's like a bee on you, you're supposed to like not panic and stuff, but like, I was in a car, and I, w I thought it was gonna like sting me, because it was like, you know, on my foot. And I was like, I can't get a bee sting on my foot. So like, of course, I wasn't like thinking very clearly. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I like screamed and I like, kind of like jumped out and I left my slippers, like my flip flops on the, my sandals, whatever you want to call them, on the ground. And so I was like just screaming and stuff. And then my mom was just like, just kill it. And I was like, I don't even know where it is because I didn't kill it. And like, it was just somewhere in the car and I was kind of like panicking. So I opened the window and it didn't fly out the window. So then after that, right, I like, I saw it and it was like, right there and I was like kind of panicking so then it finally like crawled to an area like far away from my flip-flops where I could like reach it you know what I'm saying so I reached for my flip-flops I grabbed one of the flip-flops right okay wait wait let me like try to get a visual representation okay of course using like slime containers because I have nothing else but um welcome to totally like ratchet recreation but can you just get this to look better, can you please? Thank you. Okay. But like, so this is like a this is a slipper, right? And so this is let's just say this is the bee, right? I know this is a piece of fake bubble gum I made with a piece of model magic. Don't judge. Anyway, so let's just say this is the bee, right? So the bee like lands here, right? So I'm like, oh, and I take off the slipper and I like smash it. I don't really want to smash it because I kind of like this. Anyway, I like smash it. Right? And then I was like, I was still kind of nervous it was dead or not because I didn't really know. So then I took this one and I like smashed it on top of that one and I was like pressing it and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? And our supposed to be just, just fell off the bench. Anyway. But yeah, and it was like kind of scary because I didn't know if it was dead underneath. And I was like, oh my God, what if I lift it up? And like, it's literally just going to like fly at me. And short story short, uh, the bee is dead and I removed the body with a little bit of of self-encouragement, pep talk, self-motivation stuff. And so, yeah, I have to go do my violin, guys. Bye. Ta-ta.